Ella Toon's sublime goal to open the scores. Sam Kerr's sublime goal to equalise. Opportunistic stuff from Lon Hemp again to once again give England the lead and then a tidy finish from Alessio Russo to wrap the semi final win up. Hemp, Toon, and Russo the three players that Serena Wiegman has consistently put her trust in, even through patchy form. Through good league form, bad league form, good England form, bad England form. Three players Wiegman has trusted all the way through, who many have doubted, who came up trumps today for England. And the day when they started well, they finished well. Australia had a, a good 15 minute period, including the goal. But for the Tillies, the ball never really wanted to sit for them. They struggled with first and second balls. And maybe cumulative fatigue, maybe the pressure, maybe just, maybe just not their day. But England, after a few failed attempts, are in their first ever World Cup final. And they have grown into this tournament. This was their best performance by far. Before this, the Columbia game was their best performance. This, this is growth from England after a dodgy, wobbly group stage. The Tillies who themselves were growing, maybe too many games, maybe not enough subs, maybe not enough luck, but a sublime goal that made all the crowd cheer. And hopefully a lasting legacy for this team, for this nation, who over the last few days have gotten absolutely lost in Tillies fever. But there is still a case for Australia and for Sweden in the third medal match, the third place match. Although it's a quick turnaround for both teams, especially Australia, who have not made many subs this tournament. But for England, an extra day's rest before they face Spain. For all the marbles here in Sydney.